It's called Cyber Gym, and you won't find any ellipticals here. When the alarms go off, it shows that heavy lifting has been done by good guys doing bad things for a good reason. Governments and companies can come here to see how vulnerable they are to a cyber attack. This kind of training has never been done uh, as far as we know. In the Ophir Hassan used to work for the Israeli government and is now Cyber Gym's CEO. Their training center in New York City opens Wednesday when it will put organizations in the same room as hackers who attempt to breach their security. We can't identify this Cyber Gym hacker who will call Mr. Null, but we were able to speak with him. Of the last 10 systems you tried to break into, how many did you break into? Um, all of them. Yep, you got that right. Mr. Null said he was able to hack into all of them. Cyber Gym opens at a time when Americans are still becoming familiar with the cost of cyber warfare, from ransomware to the Equifax hack to the presidential election. Here at the Cyber Gym, they have this room set up basically to simulate what it's like at a utility facility. And the purpose of that is to show that hackers aren't always after just money. Sometimes they want operational control. In this case, it will be to take over a water treatment facility, but it could just as easily be a nuclear power plant or an offshore oil rig. Some of them are state level, so states are definitely uh, a huge players in these battlefields. Uh, some of them are international terror groups, some of them are domestic terror groups, some of them are just activists that want to, uh, to do some kind of, to make some changes in the world. Yet most Americans think of hackers as one group, perhaps indicative of how far behind we are when it comes to tackling cybersecurity. At CyberGen, Arthur Chien, Fox 5 News.